there, I'll be sipping it. Sippin it. Watch a bunch of shows, I'm getting it. Brothers. Yeah, I understand it's a quarantine, I gotta be chilling all alone, but I'm getting sick. People who be running half the office, signing politics, and scrambling to tell the kid to stop. What is up and welcome back. This is episode number four of this series in which I'm documenting what it's like to be a full-time day trader. Now today we're back in the office. I'm gonna be talking about my trading style and how I'm able to make money in the stock market. Not just that, but we're gonna be following along and checking in on one of these positions that I'm currently managing that I entered yesterday, which is a short position on SPY. I entered that trade again yesterday over inside my mentorship group. So everyone inside my group is also in this trade with me. So I'm really hoping that it pans out and that we're able to make some money, but I'll let you guys know as always, if I lose money, I'll show that too. I'm gonna be 100% transparent. Uh, but if you're interested in learning about trading, I'll plug it real quick below. You can join the group, the link is down below. Uh, so with that said, I hope you guys do enjoy. Don't forget to smash that like button and let's have a great day. Uh, on my spy position today, uh, we're up six thousand dollars, uh, sixty-four hundred dollars. Let me screenshot that. Six thousand four hundred seventy dollars on the day. Uh, amazing day. No complaints. We just got lunch, and now we're gonna head back to the office, uh, get back in, and check in with the team, and have a little afternoon trading session. So I trade based off a series of setups. I actually have about four setups that I most commonly trade. I trade these setups on a larger time frame. I know some of you are more experienced, some are less experienced, so I'm gonna pretend like I'm talking to someone who knows nothing. I trade on the four hour time frame, which means that each candle on the chart is four hours. Now, uh, what this does is it allows me to swing positions. I know this community is called the daily traders, but 90% of the time what I'm actually doing is I'm swinging my positions from day to day. I'll enter a trade one o'clock today or four o'clock today, and then I'll sell it maybe the next day, maybe two days from now. Now, if you're working on a one minute time frame where each candle is one minute, that means that you're making faster decisions. You're getting in and out of trades quicker. That is more day trading. So I do a little bit of day trading, but the other 90% I'm swing trading. So say I am looking for a stock to trade. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over, go to the S&P, the Russell, the NASDAQ, and I'm gonna start scrolling through different charts. Within each chart, again, I'm looking at the four hour, I'm looking for different patterns. Within those patterns, I'm looking for setups. Based on the setup, based on the market, I'm gonna start pulling those specific stocks and I'm gonna start adding them to my watch list. So what I'm trying to do is narrow down opportunity within you know different categories, different groups. Now these setups are based on a series of moving averages. And I trade uh, according to about three different moving averages. It's kind of a lot to explain without seeing it. So let me hop on my computer and hopefully that will give you a better understanding of what I'm actually talking about. Okay, so three moving averages that I trade. The 180 day SMA, that is this green line right here. The 50 day SMA, the red line. And then the 15 day EMA, this blue line. Okay, I'm gonna use these moving averages. So I'm looking to see where the candles are trading within these different moving averages. For example, the 180 day SMA, again, this green line right here, we can see has acted as a very strong level of support. So back in May, you can see these candlesticks, right? These are the four hour candles. Experience the pullback, okay? Now using this information that the 180 day SMA has acted as a strong support level. We know that right now, you can see INTU has pulled back, all right? We're coming off of highs at $719. We're down roughly 13% off of those highs, and we are about to test the 180-day SMA. Now, what this previous pattern tells us is that this level 
is going to act as a strong support. So essentially, we're just looking to play this bounce off the 180 day SMA because we know that level has acted as a strong support level. We're going to enter on the bounce. We're going to ride this thing back up to another moving average or another support and resistance level within the chart. That is an example of one setup. Uh, again, I trade a couple different setups. What we want to do now is continue looking through these charts, go to the NASDAQ, go to S&P, go to the Russell and start looking for these patterns. Start looking for charts that are trading okay, above the 180 day SMA where we can see that we've tested this level, validated this level as support and preferably are just experiencing a pullback. Then we can be ready to anticipate a bounce off this level and we can capitalize on that move and then we're able to play the move, take profit, you know, depending on support, resistance, a moving average within the chart. Now, once I've gone through and identified several charts, several patterns, and found these setups, uh, I'm ready to trade. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add these to the watch list. And now once you've found a stock that you're ready to trade, you can go ahead, choose your contracts if you're trading options or just buy shares. All right, so pretty straightforward. That was probably the simplest way I could explain my trading style, looking at these larger time frames, and I'm trying to find setups uh, based on these different patterns. There are so many different trading strategies out there, and it is up to you to figure out what works for you. Now, this works for me. Uh, I like trading based on the chart, based on the pattern, and about 98% of the time, uh, I'm trading based on what is called technicals. Now these are technicals, fundamentals are news articles, say I'm watching the TV, something comes up on the TV, I'm gonna trade based off of news. The technicals, like the charts, moving averages, uh, that is what I've found the most success in. But again, this is just what works for me and it's up to you to figure out what works for you. I try to explain this in the most simple way if you know nothing about trading. This is hopefully gonna present one way of trading, my way of trading, and I highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, again, if you want to learn everything about my trading strategy, I do have the Market Master class. I'll put the link below. So hopefully this was a little bit educational and hopefully not too boring. And with that said, let's continue on with the video. All right, team, the market just closed. What an amazing day. Seriously, uh, I'm up, I'll put a screenshot right there. $5,600 on the day, okay? Amazing day, I know I mentioned this morning, I got these five puts yesterday, I was shorting the market with my mentorship group. We ended up locking in profit during this afternoon session when I got back from lunch. Almost a $6,000 day. Incredible, super blessed as always. I know last or two episodes ago was a red day. I was down 1,800 on the day and then Today, up nearly $6,000. Great to see the team inside my mentorship group, all my students making money on this trade. Again, I post all of my personal trades, entries, exits, all live and in real time inside uh, that Discord group. I'm glad I got to sit down earlier and go over a bit of what my trading strategy looks like. I highly encourage everyone to go out there, do their own research, try out a couple strategies, and then once you find something that you like, really stick to it, all right? Give it a couple months. This isn't easy, it's not gonna come overnight. You're gonna need to put in the time and the work, but if you do, it's possible to do well. It's possible to make money, as you can see today, uh, myself. And I'll put some member profits up as well, just so you can see that it's not just myself making money. You know, my students are also finding success. Uh, doing this. All right, that is going to wrap up episode number four. Again, don't forget to subscribe and I hope I earned your thumbs up on this video. We hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you all in the next episode. Later. Oh my god. Did I just do that? Yeah, but I got it on camera. So no, bro. I did not just do that. Bro, oh, come on.